Hey everyone, my name is Jess, I'm 26 from West Lancashire and you might remember me for placing second in last year's Miss England final. Now last year it was the first time I'd ever competed and I definitely raised some eyebrows, especially for my Beauty With Purpose fundraising because I ran 5k for 96 days consecutively around Liverpool dressed in different fancy dress. So as a dragon, as a cheerleader, a blow up dinosaur, where's Wally, pirate, cave woman, all sorts of different things. And the people of Liverpool absolutely loved it. So much so, I combined it with my campaign, which was all about getting kids into STEM careers, because I'm really passionate about that. And it got a lot of press. I was in a lot of national newspapers last year for doing that. So that was pretty cool. And as a result, I am now known locally as Fancy Dress Jess. <laughs> Now, since placing second in last year's Miss England, the work for me definitely did not stop. On the run-up to last year's final, I was interning as a software engineer, which I carried on doing up until October when I started the third year of my integrated master's degree in aerospace engineering. Now, outside of my degree, I am also a fashion model. I did this full-time from the age of 15 internationally, up until I decided to start my degree when I was 22 years old. So now I just do it part-time, but definitely keeps me busy around the aerospace engineering. On top of this, I've been to a lot of different schools and talked on a lot of different radio stations about getting girls into engineering and educating kids all about what a STEM career involves because I am really passionate about that. And because of my efforts, I got asked to switch on the lights in my local town for Christmas last year. So. That was really cool. <laughs> but more than anything, we all know that everybody loves fancy dress Jess. So in January of this year, I ran the first 32 days of the year in fancy dress once more. This year with a friend and this year with a few twists along the way, which involved jumping into the icy docks in February in fancy dress. So definitely was harder than last year but we raised over £3,000 in doing so. Now, last year, the stats said that there had never been a ginger Miss England, and there might never be a ginger Miss England. But I'm happy to smile in the face of defeat once more if it means I can empower all of the redheads who are being bullied for their hair colour along the way, because I was, I don't talk about it very often, and it's not nice. So I am here to empower all of the redheads who are going through the same thing and to show them exactly what they can be. Thank you for watching my little intro video. I've tried to keep it short and sweet. I'm very aware that I'm a chatterbox. And fingers crossed for this year. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy the journey. <laughs>